Today I'm going to test out this, a $5,000 camera setup versus a GoPro, which is about $500. This is a $500 GoPro Black Hero 5. I bought it for uh, $450 second hand. This is my $5,000 camera setup. It's a Canon 5D Mark III inside with uh, Aquatech housing and a Sigma uh, 15mm fisheye lens. This lens will give you the same fisheye effect as the GoPro. So you'll get a good comparison between the two. Yeah, there's a lot of photographers out there that can start with the GoPro Hero 5. And now this camera is becoming really, really powerful and really popular. Check this out. This is the cover of this month's Surfers Journal. And it's shot, I think, by Michaela Jones. This is shot not with a $5,000 camera setup, but with this, a $500 camera, the GoPro. It's just showing you, you know, times are changing. It's starting to become not about the most expensive camera and image quality, but more about, that's the main idea with surf photography, you know, to get a unique perspective, an angle that no one's seen before. And that's also what Leroy Be Bellet has done um, with uh, double toe surfing into huge slabs. And that's just showing you how, you know, surf photography is changing. I mean, digital cameras have already changed the surf photography industry. Social media is changing everything. And now, or really powerful little cameras like this are changing everything. So the megapixels on this camera is 22 megapixels. The GoPro is 12 megapixels. Um, frames per second, this can get a, um, th I think about maybe 30 frames every two seconds, or 30 th frames per second. This gets about five frames per second. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. I'll be shooting some video with this camera and then I'll change it, I'll flick it over to... Uh, oh, we can go photo and video, forgot about that. We'll go burst mode. So I like to go 30 frames per two seconds on the GoPro and that shoots a wide angle. It'll give me the same effect as my fisheye on the camera there. Let's do it. Winter, putting on the wetsuit. <laughs> wetsuit season. <laughs> this is probably the most uh, photographed place on the coast. A ton of sand. to um, burst mode and get your comparison shots so I can't obviously shoot video footage while I do that so let's do that couple shots then. I used the burst mode on the GoPro and then I took photos with the Canon 5D. It's pretty much double the megapixels the $5,000 camera. But I'll shoot some more video and get some more barrel shots now. Um, initial thoughts, I haven't seen the photos yet. I think that... I think that obviously the full frame sensor on the Canon 5D Mark III will be better than the GoPro. But the GoPro shoots more frames per second, so you'll end up getting the right shot with the GoPro, and you have to just time it well with the 5D. I 
lot of dolphins just over here. And dolphins. Dolphins came swimming through the lineup. That's pretty cool. Okay guys, well I just got back. Well that, there you go, that's sort of the difference between a GoPro Black and a um, Canon 5D Mark III. Um, a $500 camera versus a $5,000 setup. I think the image quality, I haven't seen the photos yet. Um, you could have judged that when I did the split screen between the two during the actual vlog. The GoPro has solved a lot of the low light um, issues it had in the past. I used to have the GoPro Hero 3 and it needed full sun to have a decent image. So now I think with their raw format and their manual settings, the GoPro can work really well. But you're still better off with a more expensive camera, bigger frame, and uh, to get that image quality, you may as well make the effort if you're going to shoot images and you want to print them big, you want the best quality. <coughs> Having said that, the other thing is the best camera that you've got is the one that you've got on you at the time. So the GoPro, it, for its portability and its ease of use, gets the, gets the thumbs up for that. Uh, my name's Dylan Brayshaw, subscribe to the channel and um, hope to see you out in the water one day. Cheers. Hey. 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 Hey.